Hey everyone, welcome to another Goody Reader Nighttime Reading Test. My name is Michael. And this is Peter. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, in the dark. It's dark and mysterious, and we're going to illuminate the situation oh. with the one of the first, or I think the first touchscreen e-reader that's eight inches. Yes, yes. Okay, so we have the brightness, it's on maximum, right? Yes, it is. Okay, so when e-readers are, are on maximum, you tend to notice irregularities with the front lit display. Before we get into the different illumination levels, Peter, do you notice anything odd about this? Looking at it head on, it is very nice. The light is ever so slightly intense around the sides. As you can see on camera right here, it's a little bit overexposed. And we'll do some tilts for you guys to show you different viewing angles. So this is the main view of the left. You can see at the bottom corner, it's a little bit bright, like there's a one millimeter gap. There's the right. This looks perfect on the right. It's not too bad, yeah. Top here's, here's looks good. Top. I noticed a little bit of the yep. same type of light thing at the top. Correct. It's almost like it's pushed down ever so slightly. And the bottom is pretty good. Usually you see where the LEDs are, but... You see splashes. Yeah, we haven't been able to locate them necessarily. And of course we're nitpicking and we're, we're tearing it apart, but we want to show you the inconsistencies of each individual light. Now we're on a white page here. A lot of the time you'll see a lot of clouding and puffing around the side. You really only get a little bit of gray down here and that's really about it. So it's, 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 it's yeah, it's, it's really solid. This right. is one of the better e-readers that we've seen that has a, f I would probably say like, it's out of all of them that we've seen, this is one's really good. Yeah, it's it's up there with uh, with the big boys like Amazon and Kobo. Okay, so in order to adjust the front light display, simply you just hit the center menu key, yeah. you go to front light, and then you can scroll between the different illumination settings. So right. we'll look at each, we'll look, click on each one, and, and you can pause yeah. the video at any time if you want to get an ideal. So this is uh, about midway right. when you're reading in absolute darkness. You really don't want it the brightness maxed out right. because it's gonna like it's gonna kill your eyes. Yeah. Whereas with this, this is pretty average. So now that we're at the mid level, this is kind of what you could expect. And we'll look at the other degrees here. And both on camera and in studio, it's getting pretty dark right now. Yeah, yeah. this is probably like way too uh, like low lit in order to accurately read. I kind of, you know, from a personal thing, midway to about like three quarters, this is pretty ideal. Right. Let's show everyone what it looks like when we go all the way to the bottom here. So that's what we're going to see. It's not really readable in a dark room. You're essentially not letting any light through. This is it, what it would be if it's mild, you know, it's getting dark out. You maybe want to put it down to one, but yeah, the mid range would be 20 to 80% kind of where you want to sit. Okay. Now there is another option here that's entirely unique to the Cybook Ocean, which is white text, black page. Mm -hmm. It's otherwise known as night is as, as nighttime reading mode. Right. And this turns the background black and the text white. Now let's check out the illumination settings. We'll crank it up to max. Now what I've noticed about this is the black being on the background versus it being the text looks a lot washed, a lot more washed out. And there's a lot more ghosting that's evident. So when you turn a page, you have numerous options. One of them is just to swipe, but you notice an error with this, the black, the background yes. turning white. Flashes. Yeah, but what you can do is you can actually just type or touch like on the corners and it'll turn the pages. There you go. And But you'll notice that every, if you turn the full page refreshing every six pages, right. every six page you'll get that. But if you take advantage of the manual page uh, buttons here. You avoid that entirely. Right. 
but you still see the the, the full page refresh and those so, can be changed in the settings options based on one five ten and so forth. or you could turn it to never if you exactly, wanted to yeah. so my my advice is that if you're taking advantage of the white text on black background set the refresh mode to never yes other otherwise it'll break immersion having the 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 you know what we just seen where it flashes absolutely all right so this has been a nighttime reading test with the new cybook ocean we've really dived deep and give you an advanced analysis of our of our thoughts i think that this is one of the better e-readers with a, a good good front lit display numerous options we've never seen nighttime reading mode like this on any reader ever no so it's entirely unique but you do have to customize it in order to get the most ideal experience you've uh, heard our thoughts and you've seen what we had to show you weigh in your thoughts below you can comment on this video if you have any ideas for future videos regarding the cyber ocean uh, let us know for goodyreader.com my name is michael this is peter everybody take care